Meal planning can take up so much time if you don't have the right tools. If you spend all your time looking through cookbooks or on Pinterest or even Google, you may find a whole bunch of recipes that really like sound good, but then what do you do with them? How do you know what shopping list to create from them and all of this stuff? I used to struggle with meal planning and it used to take me so long each week just to figure out what I wanted to eat. I mean, that's not what we should be spending our time on, right? That all changed when I found this tool and I wanna share it with you today just so you too can take advantage of this and how powerful it is. This tool is a software called Plan to Eat that you can get online on both your computer and your phone and it is a game changing, seriously. Let me just show you so that way you can see how powerful this is. All right, now we are in the plan to eat portal. I already have a whole bunch of recipes in my particular portal, so you can see them already in here. And they're organized by things like appetizers and, you know, just the different courses and everything, which is nice to be able to have them organized. I can bring them in via websites. So, for example, this is one that's from my website. You can easily go to the actual source by clicking on the link but it also has all of the different ingredients in here, the directions, a picture. You can change the amount of servings. You can display the units in metric, which is nice for those of you that are not in the US, which is most of you. <laughs> you can also put it by course and like tag these things in a way that's gonna make a lot of sense for you. And I will show you in a minute how much this really is very powerful. But so for example, I have this tagged as dairy-free and paleo and school lunch and all of these different things. The main ingredients are eggs, whatever. So you have all of these different things in here. But so then if I go over here to where sorting by these recipes, so say it's, oh, I'm trying to meal plan and I know that I want a main course for dinner and I know that on Tuesday, I'm going to be super busy. So I'm going to look at something that's 30 minutes or less. And this is going to bring up all of the different meals that are 30 minutes or less that are already in my portal here. And I think that's really, really helpful. You can also rate your recipes to say like ones that you really loved. But then you can also look at these tags. And these tags are specific to you. So you can tag them as much or as little as you want. But so say I really want to see something that is good for the freezer. I'm just pulling stuff out right now, but it'll pull something that's great for the freezer out. So these emergency meatballs are, for example. I'm going to delete that tag. And then say maybe it's dinner time and you want to know anything that is made with ground beef because you have ground beef that is in the freezer or in your fridge and you need to use it. So you could put in here ground beef as your main ingredient and see what pops up. And these are all the recipes that include ground beef. So again, then you can also go ahead and say, okay, I have 30 minutes, I have ground beef in the fridge. These are all the things I have, right? So it's very powerful for using it like in the moment, but then you can also use it for meal prepping as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the plan tab up here, how great this also is. So again, you can go ahead and look through, I'm going to go through all your recipes and say you're going to go ahead and plan for next week. So you can filter your recipes again. So I'm going to just filter them by main course. And then I'm going to filter them by under 30 minutes. And then I'm going to have all these different things that are going to pop up. So say I want those chili lime shrimp. So I'm going to plan for starting tomorrow. Uh, and have the chili lime shrimp, all I have to do is take, like, pick it up, drag it, and drop it right into where I need it to go. And then say, I'll do the cilantro lime chicken the next day. Drag it and drop it right there. And then say, I'm going to do lunch. So I'm going to take off the time, I'm going to take off the main course, and I'm going to switch it to lunch. So these are all the different lunch things. So Maybe I want a keto baked feta pasta recipe right here, right? And then you can also add things just the way I like to do it. Instead of adding ingredient, I just add a note and I say, I'm going to have leftovers of the cilantro lime chicken. I add that note and now it's in here on my calendar. 
And the great thing is once you have all of these things in here, then you can go ahead and you can hit the shop tab and it will put it all into a shopping list for you as well so that you know exactly what you need when you go to the shop and to the store. And if I go back to the planning tab, one of the other things that I really love is say you really like freezer meals like I do. So you can go ahead in here. And so right now my freezer tab session is empty, right? But it says click on this add to freezer to add it into a freezer here. So I'm going to go back to my recipes. These are all the different things that are great for the freezer. So again, emergency meatballs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag it onto, say, Sunday. I'm just going to drag it on the lunch, click on it, and I'm going to say add to freezer. And it's going to, how many prepared meals do you want to freeze? So say I'm going to do a double batch of this. So I'm going to say two, and there are 10 servings per meal. That sounds a little high, maybe four. And then I'm going to add it to my freezer. So it's going to have here prep for freezer. So it knows you're not actually eating this this time. And it's going to put it here in your freezer. So it knows that you have two meals of four servings each. And then this is where I love it. So say you froze it and it's been a couple of weeks and you need it for dinner one night. And a couple of days later, all you have to do is drag it from your freezer stash here, put it into your dinner and it subtracts. Now it knows there's one meal, only four servings left, and it put it right here. And it tells you down here to defrost the meal the night before. I love this. And you can always add notes yourself. So you know, if you want to defrost ground beef, you can add the note here. So that way you know to that day to pull the ground beef out of your freezer. Just all of these really, really great things. Now, if I go back to the recipe tab on the cook, this is just where you're going to explore to see all the different recipes you have. It's very easy to add recipes as well. So let's just go to, actually, so if I go over to Thriving on Paleo, for example, and I want to make this Greek sheet pan supper. So say I want to add a recipe from the internet. All I have to do here is add recipe. This is going to bring up this recipe card. I find the recipe that I want to add on the internet, get the URL. And then over here, you're going to say import from web and put the recipe link right there. You're going to import it. It's going to bring everything in. So super easy. I can cancel this because I actually already have this in here. But I wanted to also show you if you don't have the recipe like online because you're using it from cookbooks, this is how I like to do it. So I would take a picture of the recipe in the cookbook and then I just make like a placeholder here. So I said, this is the buffalo chicken dip. Here's the picture of it. Sometimes I will put tags on here so that I know what they would be used for. And then it's just like a placeholder. It's not going to give you the recipe ingredients. You can add those for yourself if you'd like. I don't like having to add everything, but if you really are using that shopping list feature, it would be really helpful to do. But so it's really easy to add recipes in here. And if you join by the link that I'll provide you, you're going to automatically become my friend and you can watch here. If you go to friends, it's going to bring up all of your friends recipes. And I think you automatically become a friend of plan to eat, but then you could go down here to the user and look for the thriving on paleo one. And it will bring up all of my recipes from thriving on paleo. All are already pre loaded in here for you as recipes already that you can use with tags and everything. They are tagged as like AIP, also through the reintros, paleo, gluten-free, all of this kind of stuff. So it's really easy for you to use. But I think you can see how using this, you could quickly figure out a meal plan for the entire week or even the entire month so quickly, just dragging and dropping and getting all of the information that you need. Wasn't that really cool? Can you see how powerful this is and how it can save you so much time? I also want to share that if you use this link right here, I'll also post it below, that thrivingonpaleo.com forward slash plan to eat, you can get 20% off an annual subscription. It's a really good deal. And I think it's going to save you so much time and aggravation. And remember, if you use that link, you'll also automatically be friended with me. So you can get all of the Thriving on Paleo recipes automatically in your dashboard. And if you want an example of some of the meals that you can make, check out this video where I show you three easy meals that you can make tonight. I'll see you later.